hi guys welcome back to Android tutorial in this part of this tutorial we are going to learn how to make your Android apps available in multiple languages it is very important to make sure that your Android application is available in multiple languages for getting your Android apps more popular so in this part I am going to demonstrate how to make your apps available in multiple languages you already see that under the resource folder for each project under the resource folder you can see that under the values folder a string.xml file is present actually the string.xml file contain some resources string resources for your android project so this is the file and this is the folder for making your Android apps available in multiple languages so if you want to make your Android apps available in multiple languages then you need to create other string dot strings dot XML file for that corresponding language so the Android system will provide some language code for creating this values folder so if you want for example if you want to make your Android apps available in Spanish language then you have to create a folder called the values iPhone ES for the Spanish language and also you have to create the under string dot XML in the in that folder so just go to Google and search Android locale you can see that a lot of code options is present here here in this website you can see that there is the language code for that Android version that supported this language code is also given here for example you can see here is the Danish it is called the DA for here is the Spanish language option that is ES is the code for Spanish language okay now I am going to make my language, my apps, that means these apps available in both English and Spanish language. Guys, actually I don't know Spanish even though I am going to demonstrate it here. But I don't know Spanish language, I just demonstrate here. So in order to make available this language in Spanish, you have to create a new project here I already created a project with the local with example local project now you can see that an activity is present here within that activity and text view is present here I just delete the text view so here I'm going to add a button here go to this string.xml, go to the xml file for that layout you can see that the button id is button 1 and the text is button actually the text is not referred from string.xml here I just refer it from the string.xml now the string bn button name Okay. Now I have to create that button name in string.xml. So I add a resource here. It is a string string resource. Click OK. It is the identifier is button name and value is. label in English okay I just save the program and in the XML file you can see that the button is created with the label label in English okay now I'm going to create an action for this button Android 
on click with an action called action method okay now I am going to add some more string resources on the string.xml file add okay with the name message value is message in English I save it you can go to the main activity file here is the on click method is present here with the name action method so I have to create an action method in the Java file so open up the Java file corresponding to that activity and here I'm going to create the method called action method public void action method okay here a view argument is present here view v okay now I am going to create a toast here Just create a string, string message, is equal to your text. R dot string dot message. You have to cast it into string resource string variable now I just create a toast here toast dot make text get the base context now add the message has emoji here is the duration I make it as long toast dot long dot long and make the toast visible by using the show method okay now let's just create a button in the activity and create an action method for that button now you can see that under the resource folder a value folder is present there is a string dot xml is present here now I have to make sure that my Android apps is also available in the Spanish language also so from the previous website you can see that you can see that the code for Spanish language is I think it is Yes, see. Spanish is yes. Okay, now I am going to make a Spanish make this apps available in Spanish also. So I just create a folder here under the research folder. I create a new folder, new folder with the name values iPhone yes okay finish okay now you can see that under the resource folder a new <coughs> value dot values iPhone yes folder is present here now I am going to add some string dot XML here value dot XML strings dot XML here so I am going to add an XML file here Android XML file it is not a value type it is a resource so I choose the this not a resource this not a values so 
it is a local project name of the project and file name as strings.xml okay it is a resource click next you can see that you can add the country code here from here uh, I just add the country code as it is ES that is it is represent the Spanish so ES I just choose the ES and click finish okay now you can see that I just save it and under the values.es again you can see that a string.xml is present here okay now there is two string resource for my project is present in the values xml file which are the button name and message I just copy that thing here from here okay now I just open up the string.xml under the values.es now I just paste that thing here okay label in English also the I also copy other contents I just changes that label in English I just change it as label in Spanish also message in English is changing to message in Spanish okay now I just save it now I'm going to run this project Android application wait for the ABD to fully loaded we can see that now the activity is appear here with the a button named a label in English I just click the button a toast is appear message in English okay that means the activity is available in English here so whenever a project is running or an Android apps is open in, in a phone or a device it will check that means your phone or device has a default language selection if it is English then the system will automatically invoke the values and it invoke the strings.xml under the values folder for the string resources that means the default folder value folder is this values and it will receive or it will access string.xml as the values folder as the values file from this values folder that is the default folder so if you if you if your phone supports Spanish also and if you make your default language of your phone is Spanish then the system will check whether there is a folder named value dot values hyphen es is present or not if a folder is present then the system will automatically changes the string dot xml as the string dot xml under the values dot iphone es folder okay now I just go to my avd I am going to change the default language of my avd to Spanish now you can see that here is a custom local option is present here I just choose that here you can see that the default option is EN US that is corresponding the English language now I just change it as Spanish select ES okay now my the default language of my AVD is 
Spanish. I just go to home. I just open up the apps available in my project, available in my AVD. You can see that all the name of the apps are changing into some uh, Spanish language. Okay, now I am going to run my project again. Okay, we can see that the label of the button is changing to label in Spanish. That means this label or this string is given under the values.es that is corresponding to the Spanish language. That is, it is accessed from this resource label in Spanish. That means now the font default lang the default language of my phone is Spanish. That's why the system is automatically select the values es folder for the string resource. Okay, now I just click the button. Now you can see that a message in Spanish is appear here. Okay, guys, uh, this is the way to make your Android apps available in multiple languages. It is an important step for creating if you want to, if you if you plan to publish your apps on the market, then you make sure that your Android apps are available in multiple languages for getting more popular, for more popularity for your Android apps. Okay guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.